Hey guys, today we are going to change the front wheel bearing hub knuckle assembly on this 2009 Mercury Mariner. Uh, if this video is helpful, smash the thumbs up button and comment below. Okay, so we've got our vehicle jacked up and our wheel taken off. The first thing that we're going to do is unhook the whole brake caliper assembly, bracket and all. So there's this bolt right here and this one right here. We're going to take those out and just kind of set our caliper off to the side. All right, so we got our caliper off, setting off to the side here. You don't want to just hang it from this hose. That's stress on the hose. Um, get something to set it on. Um, next, take off your rotor. It might be kind of corroded on there, and you might have to bang on it to get it to come off. I usually like to bang down instead of this way. That way you don't bend anything on accident. So we'll take that off, set it off to the side. And then you'll use an inch and a quarter uh, socket here to take off this nut here. Um, make sure you've got your vehicle chalked um, so that it's not rolling and the vehicle's in park, that should help also. Um, this is gonna be on there pretty tight and you might need a cheater bar um, to get it to pop loose. Next thing we're gonna do is take off, unhook our tie rod end. So bend this pin out and take it out and then uh, un take this nut off. Okay, so for getting this actually popped loose, you got a couple options. You can bang it out with a hammer, or you can use a pickle fork, which you slide in here and pound in, and that wedge pops the tie rod up. I'll have a link in the description to where you can get a pickle fork, some other things. Um, I opted for banging it up because I'm not replacing this and I didn't want to rip the boot. Um, so I put the nut on here backwards and then banged up on it. And the reason for that is if you just bang on the bottom of this rod here, you're gonna end up mushrooming it out and you won't be able to screw the nut back on. So if you put the nut on here backwards so that it's biting into the threads and then pound up, you don't ruin it. All right, next we're gonna unhook the ABS sensor right here. So I'm take take this bolt out and you can pop the sensor out. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is unhook the ball joint from the knuckle. And the way we're gonna do that is take this nut off and pound the bolt out. All right, after we got that bolt out, we're getting close to done here by taking it out. Uh, screw this nut back on there, pound that in to knock this loose, and then take out these two bolts here and then you ought to be able to lift this off from the ball joint. You might need to pound a wedge into this slot to kind of spread it out a little bit, um, but just pull and pry and yank on it and it'll come out. These can be a real booger to get out sometimes, but like I said, I mean, you can see how much I beat on the end of that. It fought us the whole way to here. Um, so make sure that's on there so you don't mushroom the end of your CV axle out. And then we used a pointed chisel in that hole to pound it once it's flat. And we had the splitting mall out here banging on it. So, I mean, we were really hitting it. So be prepared. All right, at this point, you're just putting it back together the way you took it apart. Um, I usually like to put a little anisees or grease on like on the uh, CV axle, ball joint, and just stuff in case I ever have to take this apart again. Um, it's a little bit easier to take apart. Uh, but I hope this video is helpful. I'm gonna have some Amazon links in the description below, like for that pickle fork, for this complete hub assembly and everything. Um, so if this video is helpful, smash that thumbs up button, comment below. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And uh, have a good one, guys.